The main objective of this study is to keep soccer as safe, fun, and exciting as possible. In addition, we're going to have a tremendous opportunity to take a look inside the brains of many skilled amateur soccer players and see what it is about those individuals' brains which gives them that high degree of skill, or as some call it, that soccer IQ. I started when I was five. Uh, my father played professionally and on amateur level all his life, and so I grew up playing around with a soccer ball. One of my favorite pictures of the two of us was when I was a toddler at one of his games and I was seated on his lap with the soccer ball in my hand and the soccer ball was like twice the size of my head. It is the only sport that makes me run as fast as I can, try to get the ball and compete at the highest level that I, I'm able to. It's not something I think about, it just happens once the ball's in front of me. So we're looking to attract a group of healthy adult amateur soccer players, both men and women, between 18 and 50 years of age. People who enroll in the study will get to see some of the inner workings of a pretty high-tech research environment, spend some time in our MRI scanner and at one of our computer stations doing what we call brain games. We also ask the participants to give us a small blood sample, and the best part is that you get compensated for your time and effort in participating. In the preliminary research which led up to the idea to pursue this study, we were able to look at the way heading is related to certain changes in the brain. And the good news is that we found that for most people at most levels of play, heading seems to be a generally safe part of the game. What remains unclear and needs to be confirmed in a very large study such as this one is what really are those safe parameters of play and how can we define them so they can be generalized and allow people to continue to play soccer in the most active but safest way possible. If the researcher finds something about how the participants are training in the game that can be kind of changed around that would make um, the game more safe for future generations, to me that's important. Help the game. Help yourself. Give soccer injuries a red card. For more information, call 718-430-8712 or email soccerstudy at einstein.yu.edu. Visit www.soccerstudy.einstein.yu.edu.